Hello everybody, this is Java1965 and today I have a very super basic tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do the picture and picture effect using Blender 2.76. Yeah, the one that is used, you know, by the news, uh, the anchorman, and then there's a little frame in the upper uh, left uh, side of the guy. And that's what we're going to do. And for that, we're going to need uh, video editing. So click on that. And now I'm going to create a property uh, panel. So, because we're going to need to dimension our videos and stuff. Next thing, we're going to uh, add the movie that you already have prepared. So go to browse to the folder where you have it. In this case, it's a call in picture BG. BG stands for background. And I just add my movie. I want to tell you that this uh, video has uh, no audio. So I'm going to get rid of the uh, audio strip by pressing X. And we're ready to go. Now I need to tell you that I'm going to just go from a hot frame 118 to frame 450. So I do not want to do the entire uh, strip. So just for uh, purposes of this uh, video. And there you go. Now what we got to do is uh, again uh, add the other video that's going to be on top on and the picture and picture effect. And same thing. We are going to, uh, of course, get rid of um, the audio by pressing X and erase a strip and now we're going to uh, press a G and drag uh, the video strip uh, to the right so press G and just pull it to the right and position it where do you want it now I'm gonna move my timeline and I'm gonna place it right here and while my video strip is still selected I'm going to well just cut it so press a uh, shift K and select the le uh, the right uh, strip and right click on it and erase it. Now I think we're ready to go. Now we have our uh, strip ready to go. Right now it's on top of the BG video. And the next thing to do will be, of course, select it and press uh, Shift A, uh, Effect Strip Transform. And there you go, we have our transform strip. While this is selected, go to the edit strip uh, panel and go directly to scale. And we are going to give uh, the following values, 0.35 on X and on Y, 0.35, the same value. Now, as you can see, it's surrounded by transparency and we're gonna take care of that in a second. Now, next thing to do, we're gonna position uh, we're going to locate our video so go to the x position and on that one go 25.61 and do the same for y 25.61 and there you go now we have our uh, little picture in picture uh, video right in position and we're going to talk uh, now into the blend mode so click on uh, blend replace and then go overdrop and boom there you go. Now we could like finish our video right here, but let's embellish this a little bit. So let's, why don't we bring a little frame and also have a little, uh, probably, I don't know, something and then a little watermark right there, like your logo over here. So let's tackle that. So we just don't stop that here. So already prepare uh, two files uh, using Inkscape and the link is going to be down below. So I'm going to go into Shift A and look for my images and add image strip right there. And then all you got to do is just uh, grab it, pressing G and Y. So you can just constrain to the Y axis, select the right end of it and just stretch it uh, to the frame for 22. In your case, we're going to be different than mine, but there you go. Now, you, while you have this, uh, the new image strip selected, press uh, Shift A and Effect Strip, you know it, uh, Transform. And then select Transform Strip for that. And what are we going to do? We are going to give you the same values as the video below, okay? So if you remember, the position will be 25.61. Well, it's just 26.51 and 25.61, eh, give or take. Now go to the scale, 0.3, let's do 3.7 and also on Y, 3.7. And there you go. Now let's take care of the blending mode by clicking on replace, overdrop, and click. 
and there you go now we have this uh, very cute and very friendly frame now let's do repeat the same operation now with our watermark which will could be your signature your name or your logo so what we need to do now is press shift a image and then your watermark right there and in my case it's java 1965 then just uh, press uh, g y to constrain it and again as i as you can see the watermark is right on the um, lower right so i made it 1920 by by 1080 so i just i was trying to avoid stretching if uh, you do that this is what's going to happen if you do the size of the text like that blender is going to stretch it to the dimensions of the resolution okay so i just took uh, did this in inkscape now select the end of it and stretch it to the frame 422 let it go and now let's um, go over drop and there you go we do not need to apply a transform strip on this and uh there you go it's pretty much a done deal the next thing we are going to do is uh render these um, videos so the frame rate is 29.97 and the resolution is 1920 by 1080 okay so we're gonna give it um, 100 and then we're gonna tell blender where to save this okay anti aliasing we're gonna do 16 tell blender where you want to save this and just give it a, a catchy name in this case I'm gonna call it test click accept and go down and we need x.264 as the format and uh, since this uh, video doesn't have any uh, audio so we're just not gonna worry about the audio codec okay so but let's click on the format on top the AVI uh, make it h.264 and I think we're good to go I don't know I'm gonna click on loose list output just in case and let's animate this and now all we gotta do it's just uh, wait until it's uh, fully rendered and we'll be right back just give it a few more seconds and I will come back there you go it seems like our render video it's uh, done now let me uh, show you the uh, video result let's look for it uh, videos blender tutorial projects tutorial picture in picture and there you go 0118 that's the test uh, blender put those numbers there so don't blame me for that vlc media player and let's see it there you go there's our uh, picture in picture there's our uh, our watermark and man looks uh, looks fantastic i think and please uh please like this video or dislike it uh any comments are welcome so this is it it's all over thank you very much thank you for watching and please subscribe <laughs>